Hello and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at undefined expressions, okay, in our GED maths. Um, sometimes you get a question under this um, topic, okay, so uh, I'm going to be taking you through this four examples, all right. Uh, before we get on to, the, uh, to this questions, please do subscribe to this YouTube uh, YouTube channel and also um, check our website for summary notes, study guides, practice questions. Sorry, this I don't know why the slides didn't come up full. But if you want to check our website, our website is dtwgedprep.com. Uh, okay, dtwgedprep.com. All right, you can check it for. You know, summary note study guides, free practice questions on the website. Also, um, if you want to join our Facebook group, we're over 22,000 members in the community. You know, you want to ask about the GED in your state, all right, be it in New York, California, New Jersey. Um, you can, um, you know, ask your questions there. And um, also, if you have, um, you know, you need resources, you need motivation, you know, just to, you know, uh, go on, uh, you know, the group, we are here for you to support you. All right. And if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can also contact me. I tutor the math, science, social studies, and RLE. All right. So now let's get on to this video. So what's on the fine expressions? It's just when the denominator of an expression equals to zero. So when undefined you're looking at the denominator you know this is a numerator all right why right? this is your denominator so the denominator is this expression whichever algebraic expression equals to zero all right so you have to look for a value that you would put in uh, into x is usually one variable all right a value that would put as that you're gonna put as x that would make this expression equate towards zero. All right. So here, uh, we, if we try to, you know, just try with the simple, simple, simpler numbers. If you do two, that's two square. So and that's four minus twenty-five. It doesn't equate to zero. Uh, if we use three, if we use four, I think the best answer here is to find the value of x which the expression below is undefined is to make x here 5, all right? So when you get a question like this, all you're looking at is the denominator, okay? And making looking for a value that will make that expression equal to 0. That's what undefined expressions mean. So here, the answer here is 5 because when you do 5 squared, minus 25. 5 square is what? 25. And 25 minus 25 is equal to 0. Okay, so now let's get on to this question. Question 1 says, find the value of x for which the expression this is undefined. So this expression is 3x minus 9 divided by, do you see that? Divided by in parentheses x squared plus 4x minus 21. Okay, so find the value of x for which the expression this is undefined. So we're focusing on what? Our denominator, that's our focus on the denominator. So to get the your answer, okay, you walk from your options. All right, so walking backwards, not walking forward. So walk from your options. You test each op options value of x, which will make this expression zero. So let us try. If we try uh, negative three, that will be what? Uh, negative three square plus four times negative three minus twenty one. Negative three square is uh, that's negative three times negative three. That will give us nine uh, plus. This times this, that's a negative 12 minus 21. So here we open this parentheses. This is 9 minus 12 minus 21. You can see that this will give us 0. Because 9 minus 12, that's a negative, uh, what would that give us? A negative 3, okay? And minus 21 will give us a negative 24. You see that it's not 0. Let us test 4. So in testing 4, we have here, that will be 4 squared plus 4 in parentheses, 4 minus 21. 4 squared is 16. This 
plus 4 times 4 is 16 minus 21. This plus this is 32. And 32 minus 21 is not equal to 0. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Let's try 9. 9. So we do uh, from the expression. That's this expression. We do what? 9 squared plus 4 in parentheses 9 minus 21. 9 squared is 81. Plus this is uh, 4 times 9 is 36 minus 21. You can see here, this will not give us a 0. All right. Okay. Let's try negative 7. So negative 7, uh, let me come here. So that will be a negative 7 squared plus uh, 4 times, that will be 4 in parentheses, negative 7 minus 21. So negative 7 squared is 49. That's negative 7 times negative 7 will give us positive 49. Plus this uh, times this, that's negative 28. Okay, minus 21. So we open the parentheses here. This is 49 minus 28 minus 21. So 49 minus 28 will give us 21. And 21 minus 21 will give us 0. So our right option here for the value of x, which will make this expression undefined, is d, negative 7. Do you see that? Okay. So uh, let's go to number 2. Number two says, determine the value of x or which expression is, the expression this is undefined. So we test from the option. We use negative 4. Remember, we're focusing on the denominator, right? Because this is 2x plus 7 divided by x squared plus, minus 9. So we're testing this. So that will be uh, negative 4 squared minus 9. A negative 4 squared is 16, positive 16 minus 9 um, doesn't give us a 0, it gives us what? 7. So this is wrong. Let's test negative 3. So negative 3 is negative 3 squared minus 9. Negative 3 squared is 9. And 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. So this is our answer. Now let's come here. Let us test this. So let's test that uh, the first one, negative 3 squared minus 36. Now it's not going to give us a 0. Okay. If we use 4, uh, that's 4 squared, 16 minus 36. It's not going to, it's not going to give us a 0. Let's use 6. 6 is probably the answer here. So we have negative 6 squared, negative 36. So negative 6 squared is 36, and 36 minus 36 is equal to a 0. So this is the right option. All right. Let's do the final one. So the final one says this is undefined. So this, so let's use negative four. Negative four, this is negative four squared plus eight in parentheses, negative four plus 16. Negative four squared is positive 16 plus, uh, this times this is a negative 32 plus 16. Okay, we open this parentheses, we have 16 minus 32 plus 16. And what's 16 minus 32? That's a negative 16 plus 16. And this gives you what? A zero. Negative 16 plus 16 means we'll subtract and it gives you a zero. So here, I right hand side is option A. All right, thank you. So this is how you resolve any questions under undefined. Any question you see, they ask which value for X for which uh, for which uh, the expression the expression will be stated is undefined so you're looking for a value that when you slot in the evaluate uh, put in the value into that expression the denominator not the numerator okay and it equates to zero that's what makes the expression undefined because anything for divide like this expression divided by zero is undefined anything defined divided by zero is undefined so this is how you find it all right so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video please make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel dtw gd prep uh, gd prep and also check our website for summary notes study guides practice questions formula sheets, you know, dtwgdprep.com. And um, 
if you want to join the Facebook group, I would leave all links. You need one on one tutorial. I would leave all links in the video description box of this video. All right. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ. He is the way, He's the truth, He's the life. Okay, He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. He's the one who's going to give us peace here on earth, take away all our burdens, give us healing. He, everything is in Christ. So please let's give our life to Him and He will take over every battles, every situations, every challenges in our lives today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. And see you in our next video. You are destined to win in life and also in your GED test and everything you pursue. Take care and see you in our next video.